What's up, YouTube? Wyman Coleman bringing you another one. <clears throat> so this is an uh, ABA tournament on Lake Ro on Lake Hartwell. Excuse me. Um, actually, it was a very tough tournament. It uh, we had a BFL the day before this tournament. And it only took 16 pounds to win that uh, BFL out of 90-something boats. Um, here in the Carolinas, we have a heron spawn going on, or should be going on. Uh, and it's just not really happening. Uh, you have heron on points, but you don't have the fish on the points. Um, and it, it's just very tough. Uh, started the morning off throwing some top water baits, uh, spinner bait, jerk bait, stuff like that. And uh, nothing really, nothing was happening. Uh, so you'll see in this video how I ended up catching them. Uh, I ended up finishing seventh. And uh, so I had a decent tournament. I uh, did not catch a lot of fish. I think I only caught like 10 fish all day. Um, <clears throat> and um, I ended up catching them on a, on a um, wacky rig or a Nico rig is what I ended up catching them on. Uh, the fish were on the bottom. They were not coming up really to chase, you know, your typical top water baits. Uh, for whatever reason and uh, what you'll see in the video is basically you see me using um, my hummingbird live um, in 360 but I it was actually you see me looking down a lot Indeed, baby. but I was yeah. actually looking at my map a a lot um, just to see where I was positioned. I basically fished um, points and some islands uh, and some shoals. Your typical hair and spawn type fishing. Um, but the deal was I was fishing um, those areas but they had brush on them. Uh, so I basically stayed in one area pretty much all day. I did move around some midday to check some other stuff. Uh, like I say, but the hair, the, the top water deal just was not happening, not for me. Um, I had, I ended up with 12 pounds, 12 and a half pounds. Uh, it took 15 to win. So that just goes to show how tough it's fishing right now. Um, all in all, I had a good good day. Uh, I basically had my limit early. Uh, I think I had five in the box before 8.30 that morning. And uh, we fished a lot. We fished a lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, so, it is what it is. Uh, but... I did use mapping was probably my biggest thing that kind of keep me in on the water depth that the brush piles need to be in seemed to be where the fish were. Um, if you was in that eight to ten foot range, yes, sir. Then Four. and it was a brush pile on that point or shoal, you pretty much got bit. Um, so. I would pull up the way I was going, or troll over the way I wanted to go, and then I kind of knew some of the areas I is history for me, so I knew where the brush piles were. Um, so I, then I would use my live to just scan the brush piles, scan around to see if there's anything around that's on it, and then I'll make my cast then. Um, so other than that, y'all enjoy the video. And we'll see you on the next one.
LIMPAH